We're going to take you live to Kyiv now. We can speak to Petro Poroshenko, the former president of Ukraine. At such a time as this, we really appreciate you taking the time to speak to us here on BBC World News. Can I start by asking you, Mr. Poroshenko, where are you right now and what is happening there? Thank you for the covering us and for delivering the truth to the whole world from the most dangerous war after World War II in the Europe. And uh, I'm now in the center of Kiev. I'm just returned from the evacuation of the Ukrainian civilians from Irpin, where the dozens of civilians were killed during the last two days. And Putin acts as a bloody butcher, kills children, kills women. And we see with our own eyes the place that just an hour ago uh, Russian kills the family with two children. People melt snow to drink water. And this is a disastrous humanitarian crisis there. No electricity, no heating, no food, no medicine. And uh, I'm proud that only today uh, me and uh, our battalion is uh, provide the security for the evacuation, more than three and a half thousand until now. And I hope and keep my fingers crossed that additional several thousand will do before end of the day. We definitely saving the life of these people. And this is extremely important now. And to demonstrate how bloody is the Russian troops, to demonstrate that he has absolutely no limits and he Putin is not just an aggressor. Putin is a, just a military criminal, a killer. So do you believe that Russia will continue or honour these humanitarian corridors and the ceasefire that is in place in some cities right now? Unfortunately, I have very negative experience uh, during my presidency for communication with Putin. And this is my request to the whole world. Please don't trust Putin. Because we, uh, he, Putin promised me many times, humanitarian corridor, ceasefire, uh, withdrawal of the Russian troops and many things. None of them during the five years of my presidency, during the eight years of the bloody war, Putin never keep his words. But at the same time, we should never give up and we should never uh, be afraid of Putin and Ukrainian. Ukrainian united as a nation. Uh, I have uh, several meetings with the President Zelensky and we demonstrate that since uh, 24th of February, we are different. And we are very much appreciated that the whole world now is united. Yesterday, we see the great session of the House of Commons. We uh, very much appreciated sanction which every single day while Putin is not stopping killing civilians every single day while Putin continue the attack against peaceful Ukraine we pressure on sanctions should be increased if we start with the 10 Russian oligarchs who supporting Putin then it would 90 oligarchs now it is 200 oligarchs and this is the right way when we introduced yesterday the uh, embargo on the oil supply on the gas supply, definitely the whole world will, should join this initiative because this is immoral for the whole world to pay to Putin money for killing Ukrainian citizens, Ukrainian civilians. The only scene of Ukraine is just, we wanna be free. We wanna be democratic. We wanna return my nation to the European family. And we do our best and I think Ukrainian troops and Ukrainian people surprise the world. Mr. Poroshenko, we then, the world. So, what is your reaction? Albania, for instance, what is your reaction to the US not allowing Poland to use its air base to send you fighter jets? First of all, I think that uh, I'm an optimist and I think we still have a chance urgently to receive this flight, this uh, plane, military jet. I think we... Uh, absolutely necessary to close the sky. And this is with the interest of the whole world. This is not in the interest of Ukraine because we wanna close the sky above the nuclear power station, which 
uh, nuclear contamination has no any borders. And tomorrow, the, if Putin will continue the attack on the nuclear power station, this is 10, 12 times more powerful than Chernobyl. And nobody knows where tomorrow appear the nuclear uh, disaster in uh, Great Britain, in UK. And if you afraid uh, to attack uh, Russians for closing the sky, please give it to us. We have one of the best pilot in the world. And the evidence of that is more than 50 Russian planes and more than 90 Russian helicopters which for the two weeks are on the on the ground and their pilots either killed or we have them as a prisoners of war but and what uh, do you say just to, remember what do you say to nato members who do not want to see a no-fly zone because they believe that will drag nato countries into this conflict again if it is non no uh, uh, com non compromise non consensus on the non flying zone, give us the plane. If it is not given by NATO, give it on the bilateral position. Give it from Poland. Give it from uh, Slovakia, because everything of that this is about humanity, and this is the test. You should every single day uh, pass this test. Are you strong enough? to protect humanity, to protect future. And uh, can you imagine how difficult it is now? Could you explain now the children from Irpenia, from Kharkiv, from Chernigov, who is uh, uh, second week in the uh, bomb shelter without water, without food, without medicine? Could you explain the uh, discussion about this Ukraine should receive the old former Soviet Union plane MiG-29? or not. And I was very much appreciated that the people of US, people of UK, people of Europe, more than 60% supporting uh, close the sky, but and more than 85% uh, supporting give Ukraine the plane, please. And we are a democratic nation. And if people want that, do it as soon as possible. Uh, you'll know this is what the, the, the worry is that this will escalate the conflict because we've already had Dmitry Peskov in the past few hours saying if that happened, it would lead to a very dangerous scenario. But can I ask you, Mr Poroshenko, about the talks that are taking place, the foreign minister's meeting in Turkey later today. There is this call from Russia that Ukraine become neutral and that Ukraine give up its calls to join NATO. Do you think that Kyiv that President Zelensky should consider that in order to stop the bombs and stop the fighting? Uh, first of all, coming back to your previous question, NATO, please understand that. NATO is already involved in the conflict. Don't have any illusion. Point number two, Ukrainian here fighting for freedom and democracy and for NATO, making Russia weaker and making Europe safer and paying for them the biggest price they can, their lives and their blood. We are here with the position of Russian troops several, several kilometers from this place where we broadcasting. And together with me, it was uh, all the journalists from the whole world, including the BBC. They see how dangerous is it. And coming back to the, uh, 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 this position, I just want to remind you, when I was elected as a president in the year 2014, when Russia attacked us, do you imagine, please, Ukraine was neutral. We don't have any NATO perspective. And this is not to make it difficult for Russia to attack my country. That's why, please, don't follow the Putin trap. So you because believe, but you do believe that Ukraine then could give up right into its constitution that it will not become or ask to become part of NATO. Look, I'm, Would you be looking uh, for security I'm, guarantees I'm, in exchange for that? I am the president of Ukraine who put in the constitution the future NATO membership. But I am fifth president and today we have a President Zelensky. And I do my best to support the president of Ukraine and demonstrate the unity to give him the mandate for negotiation. And I hate the idea to make his position more difficult because he should be strong, strong with Ukrainian unity, strong with the 
uh, Western uh, jet, uh, military jet to supply it now. And this is about, please, this is not the choice of Putin, you should understand. This is the choice of Ukrainian people and but, choice of the NATO member states. But Mr. That's Poroshenko, do you, believe you that if, the, do you believe if, if you, you gave up the right to join NATO, if you said you were a neutral country, that that would be enough for President Putin because he's backed into a corner right now. He, he won't walk you're away without something not. substantial to show. This, you are absolutely right. This is not the purpose of Putin. The purpose of Putin is to occupy not only Ukraine. Purpose of Putin, this is the war against the West, against you. And we should be strong enough not accepting his mad blackmailing. Because if once uh, upon a time you accept and uh, uh, say, for example, okay, Crimea is uh, Russian, uh, Donetsk in Russian, and he wanted to build up the uh, corridor between Donetsk and Crimea, who knows? Tomorrow, Putin wants to build up the corridor through Lithuania between Russia and Kaliningrad. With that situation, you also would think maybe we should uh, feed the aggressor. Please learn very attentively year 1938. This is playing a very important role in the British history. At the same time, learn the experience of the Prime Minister Churchill when he created the government of the national unity and the whole world was united and uh, attacked Hitler to save the world. Believe me, now it is exactly this situation. I hate an idea to explain uh, the Britain how to fight for uh, sovereignty and territorial integrity. And please, no concession and no appeasement to Putin. This is Mr. Poroshenko, you stand there with your unit in your army fatigues, but you have many millions in the bank. You are an incredibly successful businessman. What are you doing with your money right now? Are you channeling it into the military spending, effort or the humanitarian effort? Spending both on humanitarian positions, supporting people of Ukraine, as all of Ukrainians. You cannot imagine how is the unity of Ukraine is uh, with a charity to support our army, to create the weapons. Okay, I, uh, one second. Here we have the uh, pickup, uh, which we built on my own money. And that would be the first, second, and third. And if while we waiting the weapons from UK, while we wait, waiting the weapons for, from NATO, we do it by ourselves. I don't know if you see it or not, but we do it by ourselves. We're spending the money and just today, I do maximum I can because war make all of us equal. From president, from former president to the soldiers in the field. And I kindly ask you, please join us. And we are not talking even about the money. We're talking about the defensive weapon. Mr. Poroshenko, how do you see this ending? We the, uh, <laughs> that's a good question because I, I think how to say it in English. Uh, we should throw out Putin from the Ukrainian soil. And we have much stronger words in Ukrainian, which now start to be the mem. We win because truth is with us. We win because world is with us. We win because this is our soil. We're protecting our future, our children, our uh, families, and we're protecting the freedom, the world, and definitely the victory will be with us. I have no doubt with that. Petro Poroshenko, thank you very much for joining us from Kyiv. Thank you.